The best memories from Harvard Law School aren't derived from the common pains of LRW, Blue Booking, and Westlaw. Instead, in our time at HLS, we've been united in tragedies like the Boston Marathon bombings, in injustices like the lack of indictments in Ferguson and Staten Island, in successes through our clinics, student practice organizations, and summer experiences, in survival through the treacherous Boston winters and the annually scheduled snowstorms, and in fun, like trying to remember what actually happened at Tacky Prom, Bar Reviews, Progressive Formal, and all those other crazy nights. At HLS, we have students who are in the military, founders of nonprofits, doctors, artists, social activists, and scientists, all converging in one place. What has inspired me over three years here is seeing how our classmates have moved from debating issues to coming up with creative solutions, whether it's about climate change or the response to the financial crisis or racial and economic inequality. We've had ideas and proposals and it hasn't been because of one person's brilliant intellect. It's because we brought people from around the country and around the world here during these brief years and we've actually listened to each other. All of my classmates are people of extraordinary will and dedication. It doesn't matter where they come from or what they do, work in human rights organizations in Uganda and Slovenia, in the public service in Korea and Egypt, in transnational corporations and law firms in Argentina, Germany and Turkey, render justice in Japan and Malaysia, or teach law in Pakistan or Saudi Arabia, all strive to hold on to the same values kindness, cooperation, mercy, and dignity, working really hard in more than 70 countries to achieve and secure freedom and justice for other people. With 9,000 miles distance, it took me approximately 27 hours to get here by plane from my country, Indonesia. Like a lot of international students that came to study here, we were hopeful that one day we will be able to bring the connection, networks, knowledge and experiences that we obtain in here to our countries. As an international student from a relatively small country in Southern Africa, I have had the opportunity to learn a lot from the vastly different environment here at North America and at Harvard Law School. I distinctly remember a few years ago at a TEDx conference, the speaker on stage was sharing his experiences working with nonprofits around the world. He noted how dire the circumstances can be in some countries, and to my surprise, he mentions Malawi, my birth country. He went on to describe how some children are forced to use wrapped up plastic bags in lieu of soccer balls. I had played with the same kind of makeshift balls in my childhood and never thought twice about it. Now, 15 years later, it was incredible to realize that I had been privileged enough to sit in a room with some of the most exceptional and accomplished minds in the world. It dawns on me that I've experienced both ends of the spectrum. I think I might have been the only person in both FedSoc and ACS. And it wasn't just for the outlines. For the past three years, I've also worked as an editor on both the conservative and the liberal policy journals, JLPP and HLPR too. A lot of people ask me why. Why I was active in these seemingly diametrically opposed student organizations. And my answer is this. Because I knew that Harvard was the place where I would meet the most informed and the most passionate peers on either side of the spectrum. The best thing of being a student in here is I get to meet people who inspire me every day. People who are ready to take off, to make a difference. People who are prepared to find solutions to concrete legal and social problems, both inside and outside class. When Dean Minow said she had searched the world to find the most brilliant minds to comprise the Harvard Law School class of 2015, I didn't understand the magnitude of her statement. But the people I have met here, the friends and colleagues, the teachers and mentors that I will never forget have all proven her right. I would say professors, LM students, LM friends, I mean SJD friends, JD friends, and every faculty member. Everyone here is like chosen to be here and to make a vivid and energetic world together. It is the human resource that I've found most amazing and it is 
this reason that made this school different and outstanding. I met so many talented, young, bright professionals from around the world. I've learned a lot. Um, prosecutors, judges, government and corporate lawyers provided me with insights of legal profession in their world. And we've discussed a lot the current issues, much broader than law. We've discussed how we can use law as a powerful tool to make this world a better place to live in. And I feel so inspired by all of them and thinking that my year could not have been any better. I've enjoyed all the classes that I took. Some of the professors became my life mentors, sh uh, willing to share their advices and wisdom. And sitting here, I understand that we developed invisible but strong bonds across the cultures, continents, religions. Experience weighs more than logic. And when I walked down the hallways here in Wasserstein, I would see the faces of our professors, portraits, and how they've changed over time, and how we've never had a more inclusive law school. And while there's still more work to be done, we've never drawn from so much collective experience. Harvard Law School gives each and every student an opportunity to extend his or her knowledge of a particular subject and explore the horizons of unknown matters with help and guidance of the outstanding professors. The immeasurable wealth of their knowledge and undaunted thoughtfulness constantly remind us students that there is still so much to do in order to make laws and policies better, in order to make a difference. The professors encourage us to go forward and refine ourselves, to revive the traditions and grasp dynamics. They foster us to question, argue, balance between contrasts, pierce through form and go to substance. Most importantly, they teach us to understand and respect each other. As we walk away from HLS, let's continue to unite in our duties as lawyers pursuing justice. Hidden within the case books, outlines, and treatises, there are real people with real problems and real issues. There are real facts for real fact finding. There is real poverty and real oppression and real degradation and real racism and real injustice. Instead of just a reasonable man, be sure to pursue and acknowledge the real man. In your law firm, public interest organization, government office, judicial clerkship, lobbying group, investment bank, or insert some other white collar job, make sure that you remember that you serve justice, not law, but justice. My entire HLS experience has come with a lot of lessons learned. It has constantly been a reminder that HLS is not simply training smart students who will merely shy away in the face of fear and intimidation because smartness and silence due to fear and intimidation is no contribution to society. No, HLS is training smart students to be bold contributors to society. Therefore, in the face of conflict, injustice, ignorance, and in the quest of attempting to find solutions to the world's big problems, it is important that we show up, be seen, and speak up, for these are the contributions to society that are vital. To see the bigger picture, where we as future lawyers, lawmakers, and leaders fit in, and to be analytical and decisive about the nuances of navigating the world, and have the moxie to put big changes into place. With this crazy expensive and unbelievably prestigious Harvard Law School diploma, we have the opportunity to become a group of lawyers, a generation not known as lying scoundrels, but instead becoming the impetus for the ultimate human progress. Harvard Law School gave me not just the best education, but also a vision, a vision that believe in human, in our capability, and in our dream to change the world. And as a Harvard alumni, I mean, coming soon. <laughs> I will bring it back with me to Thailand. We will never forget this momentous experience. We have become one big family here, big-hearted family of Harvard Law School. HLS, with its dynamic and people, enables us to inspire every day to have a life with values and merits that we will always carry in our lives. It is truly an honor to be a part of this community. Good afternoon. Welcome.
welcome to the law school commencement ceremony. I am Martha Minow, and as dean, it is my great delight to welcome family, friends, and above all, the class of 2015. <laughs> Graduates, this is it, the final moment of your time as a student at HLS. Today, you officially graduate, so now you are alumni. You made it. Every student graduating today has traveled a remarkable journey to reach this moment. You bridge backgrounds from Afghanistan to Venezuela. You came with backgrounds in biotech, migration studies, trade unions, youth development. You deciphered, you debated, you served, and you soared. You shoveled snow. You shoveled piles of words. You made this place, and you made the law yours, and the world will be better for it. This day belongs, though, not only to you, the graduates, but also to your family and friends. Parents, grandparents, children, romantic partners, Facebook friends, Twitter followers, you know who you are and I salute you. You loaned us your cherished ones. Your support, your encouragement, and your love have brought us to this fabulous moment. I invite the graduates to stand to give your family and friends a standing ovation. As we celebrate, we have had many speeches, but this is the last chance to assess it all. I'm reminded of the student evaluation received by one of my colleagues. The student wrote, if I had only one minute left to live, I would want to live it in your class. The colleague showed it around, showed it to me, until actually I noticed there was an asterisk, and it said, see other side. Sure enough, turning over the evaluation, the student would want to spend the last minute of life in that class because these were the further words, because it would seem an eternity. <laughs> I promise not to talk for a seeming inter eternity, but I do have some closing words to share on this superb occasion. Class of 2015, when you arrived, I told you that we searched the world for you. And now, you are even more extraordinary. You seized the opportunities and you invented new ones. You demonstrated stamina and creativity. You read and wrote late into the night. You forged teams for study, for work, for fun. You refined interviewing techniques, research, and arguments, including those in the law school parody. You offered constructive advice to those who will stay after you leave. And you made the Hass Lounge buzzing with conversation and your dazzling abilities to socialize and study at the very same time. You made friends for life and you drank more coffee than we can tabulate. You organized conferences on gun control and on access to food as a basic right. You edited journals. You kept people in their homes despite foreclosure notices. You advocated on behalf of returning veterans and convinced legislators to build safe and supportive schools. You defended survivors of domestic violence and improved management of diabetes using legal tools. You published your written work. You trained Syrian civilian uh, civil society activists on peace building and transitional justice. You produced deliverables for nonprofit organizations and modeled collaborative social justice work, providing also highly commended legal work for the U.S. Department of Justice National Security Division and other agencies. You helped a local town struggling with political and social conflict take constructive steps towards civility and understanding, and advocated for Central American women and children held in a detention center in Texas. You generated go-to blogs on corporate governance, labor law, anti-corruption, Islamic law, and law's role in warfare. This 
year alone, 131 of you traveled to 44 countries across the globe. Another 100 traveled to cities across the country as part of your clinical work and your research and your summer service. You examined reforms of online privacy protection. You addressed corporate governance missteps. You worked on legal strategies to promote climate change, adaptation. You assisted the Memphis Grizzlies, the Philadelphia Eagles, and other teams through the sports law clinic and worked on litigation across the world. And you led teach-ins, die-ins, and active mobilization in response to police shootings and racial injustice and participated in criminal justice reform work. Your work changes lives. One prison inmate wrote me, and I quote, thank you for the wonderfully aware, conscious, and intuitively gifted students that the Prisoner Legal Assistance Project provides for their courage and audacity to speak truth to power. You invigorated existing organizations and built new ones, including the Harvard Arbitration Law Students Association, the First Generation Students Organization. You participated in global moot courts and collaborated wonderfully across that famous divide between JD and LLM students. And the pro bono service was outstanding. This class pro bono service amounted to 356, 988 hours of service, beating last year's record. I invite all who perform pro bono service to stand so we can recognize you. Please do. It's fantastic. Soon we will give you a tangible acknowledgement of your work and your accomplishments. I'm going to hand each graduate a diploma. Well, actually, to be utterly precise, as you have learned to be, I will hand you a leather case that is currently empty. And after shaking hands with me, you'll exit the stage, have a photo opportunity, and you'll pick up your actual diploma. Savor this moment. It's the capstone of so much work and achievement. Someone who has been there for you is also leaving this year, the Dean of Students, Ellen Cosgrove. Please join me in recognizing her. We have just one more moment of law school, one more lesson, and this is it. After you take your last test, you're ready to test the world. And in so doing, demand accountability for what falls short and what could be better. Someone once said, the test of a good teacher is not how many questions he can ask his pupils that they will answer readily, but how many questions he inspires them to ask, which he himself finds it hard to answer. I can say from experience, you ask amazing and important questions. You've learned to assess yourselves and to reflect on what you've learned and to consider what could be taught better and what can be done better. This will serve you well, for as each year passes, you will increasingly have to rely on your own assessments rather than getting feedback from others. At work, you will get performance reviews, but they will increasingly reflect the goals that you set for yourself. If you can, be proud and honest, treat feedback as a gift, show gratitude, bounce back from mistakes, and do not refrain from assessing in turn your boss, the organizations, the leaders, the nations, and craft effective ways to express your views so they can be heard. My dad learned some of this when he served in the US Army during World War II. Now that was a while ago, and his job in part was to operate a manual telephone switchboard. Does anyone know what that is? He would sit in front of a big board, receive calls which would appear as lights on the board, and he'd have to respond by placing a cord in the corresponding jack and throw a key forward. And the operator would then know to talk with the caller, find out what the caller wanted, and connect them with another cord and ring the desired party. Hard to imagine that that's how we did phone calls. One day, he picked up a call only to hear a shouting voice say to him, 
You have disconnected me, young man. I'm sorry, my father replied. Do you know who I am? We shouted the irate man on the other end of the line. My dad gulped and he said, no, sir, I don't. The response was enough to frighten anyone. The voice on the other end of the line said, I am Admiral Lord Lewis Mountbatten, the Supreme Allied Commander of Southeast Asia, and you dropped my call. My dad paused and then he said, do you know who I am? No, thundered the voice. Thank goodness, exclaimed my dad, and he pulled out the switchboard cord and disconnected the call. So a couple of lessons. We all make mistakes. It does not help anyone to yell about it. And it's a good thing that we have electronic switchboards now. Seriously, the lessons that I learned are treat others with respect, whomever they may be. And remember who you are. Remember who you are and whom you want to be. New York Times columnist David Brooks recently wrote, our culture and our educational systems spend more time teaching skills and strategies you need for career success than qualities you need to radiate inner light and character. He suggests developing a resume of good deeds, not just a professional resume. It's not a bad idea. Now is the time to start building the resume of what you think matters and live your life accordingly. You have the talent, promise, and drive to make a real difference in the world, and we are counting on you to make the law and the world anew. Ahead is a promise of freedom and opportunity, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. Your journeys will take surprising turns. The tools of analysis and the community building that you developed here will create value, economic value, value of life, and redeem the promise of justice. Graduates, we who remain here when you leave hope that for you this school has been more than buildings and even more than classes and tests and clinics and papers. We share the collective future even as we face our individual paths. We brainstorm options. We come to understand choices. As you head to law firms and clerkships, nonprofit organizations and businesses, political campaigns and social enterprises, to teaching, to government service, and perhaps further steps of self-invention, your education does not stop here. You have chosen a learning profession as well as a learned one, and you will keep on learning every day. And whatever you do, you can and should judge for yourself how you are doing and how the world is doing. I hope you will continue to take apart problems and opportunities layer by layer, and in so doing, remake the landscape of law, business, social movements, and nonprofits in this globalizing, disruptive, and challenging time. Yesterday, I compared bystanders and upstanders. Upstanders are people who stand up against what's wrong against injustice, bigotry, violence, unethical conduct, taking action. But here's something I think is worth noting. Research is profound on who stands up in times of difficulty. And the research is consistent in showing it's not because of the beliefs that people had and it's not because of their intelligence or their education. The people who stand up are people who have relationships that matter to them. Villages in the Netherlands and France and Italy that hid victims during the Holocaust reflected ideas of religion and others, but it was the communal ties that they actually exhibited in their steps. The students who stayed rather than dropping out in the 1964 Mississippi Freedom Summer Project in this country during the Civil Rights Movement, the students who stayed did so because of personal friendships, not ideological fervor. There's a lesson here. The relationships you've made here and you'll make over the rest of your life will make it possible for you to do the right thing and for other people to do so as well. 
You can join with others to make it more possible for each next act of upstanding because we can each help reduce fears about speaking out against what's wrong and come to recognize and combat denial and feeling overwhelmed. You have built amazing friendships here. That's a resource. Now it's your turn. The Harvard Law School class of 2015 will be counsel for situations to come. You will define what law, business, policy, and politics and leadership will mean. Will you take risks? Will you grab opportunities? Will you be upstanders and not bystanders? Will you rebound from mistakes? Will you question assumptions? Your influence reflects what Harvard Law School is, who you are, and who you will become. This afternoon, we have the opportunity to hear from HLS alum, former Governor Deval Patrick. He and Brian Stevenson, another alum, received their honorary degrees this morning, and they stand for what HLS tries to be, whether in business or public service or advocacy for people caught in a criminal justice system that's so unjust. Now, there's no collection of more gifted, more hardworking, more imaginative, or more well-prepared individuals anywhere in the world than the Harvard Law School class of 2015. And I ask you, use your influence to better your communities and the world. Dig deep into your talents, take risks, stand up, Remember who you are and make a difference. I also ask you to stay in touch because we are really going to miss you. We search the world for each and every one of you, and you have exceeded our hopes. Congratulations, class of 2015. We will now prepare for the personal delivery of the degrees. Hello, I am Jean Tai, Assistant Dean for the Graduate Program at International Legal Studies. Professor Alford will join Dean Minow for the awarding of the diplomas to the Graduate Program, beginning with our Doctor of Juridical Science degrees. Jonathan Alfonso Arbel. Inkata Nbira. Lisa Marie Kelly. Damian Kukovets. Saskia Letmeyer, Ching Fu Lin, Yaron Neely, Adi Asowski, Ayelet Oz. Peter Sigetti. This concludes the awarding of the SJD degrees. Will the JD MBAs, transfers, and sections one and two please report to Hauser? We will now begin awarding the Master of Laws degrees. Mariam Abai. Bakhtiar Abdulhamidov. Anish Agarwal.
Monica Francis Aguinaldo. Olufuwa Fonmileo Ayoka Akinosi. Godiva Monica Akulo. Sarah Almogren. Rosanna Plaza. Pradeep Arjan Singh. Alexei Atamanov. Estina Ao. Adelaida Bakdasarian. Peter Robertson Barnett. Solongu Bayasaikan. Maurizio Becerra. Lucas Beeler. Opayami Mensa Felix Bello. Jared Gordon Biden. Alex Boberg. Michele Bolgiani. Fatima Bakari. Jasper Boisert. Hector Cardenas Ortega. Elizabeth Mary Carthy. Shmriti Chandrasekhar. Deborah Chavez Fernandez. Chen Xiao Xiao. Chen Ying Zhu. Spaniso Sabani. Rebecca Kramars Cohen. Rina Antoine Constantine. Jose Luis Corvalan. Virginia Cueva. Shanoi Das. Felipe de Melo Fonte. Gabriela Conca. Juliana de Valdenebro Garrido. Daniel Delgabo. Hassan Dinger. Dulan. Ekaterina Egutia. Gusha Ekis. Claudius Eshwai. Jessica Espinoza Maldonado. Romilly Faulkner. Andrew Flynn. Jens Frankenreiter. Mayrav Firth Matskin. Jeremy Gallon. Maria Fernanda Garces. Alexandra Garcia. Benedict Goslich. Michelangelo Granato. 
Nick Grant. Napa Komal Havanand. Ara Cho. He Jiawei. Jia Yun Ho. Kenji Horuchi. Maya Horuchi Ishido. Wing Xie. Angelica Wakuha Guasia. Jia Hui Huang. Sarah Ugalier. Daniel Eisenberg. Takahiko Iwasaki. Marie Jeannie. Jia Xiaotong. Il Yang Zhong. Paulius Yurchis. Bengi Su Karakoilu. Martha Basazinu Kasa. Charita Shashiraj. Ajo Noel Julius Kenny. Sabrina Khalid. Marva Khan. Fadi Khoury. Hyunju Kim. Ji Hyun Kim. Yi So Kim. <laughs> Caroline Kameu. Mark Claver. Christoph Kling. Kong Shui. Zhi Xuan Ku. Lier Lara Coetia San Sebastian. Philippe Blasan. Cindy Lau. Malcolm Lavoie. Seung Min Lee. Tani Lee. Wu Jin Lee. Nicholas Lennings. Luca Martino Levy. David Lewis. Sebastian Ruiz Ripo. Dylan Lino. Lu Shiwei. Lu Yanping. Alberto Madero.
Kartike Mahajan. Mario Meyer. Dote Malu. Aizada Marat Kazi. Pascal McDougal. Danushka Suwandi Madawata. Christina Magiani. Apita Shams Mizan. Guillermo Morales Garcia. Mina Morova. Mo Liu Ye. Mohammed Mansoor Ali Musa. Abdurrahman Mujahid. Marianne Moana. Mutsa Nadlis. Mira Nagi. Susan Marembe Nalankuma. Nitya Nara Yanan. Faryal Nazir. Mary Jean Leia. Shinda Noor Fauzia. Lutana Nwudo. Kennedy Onyango Ogutu. Victoria O'Harry. Leonora Abina Ohene Obang. Juana Oprian. Daniela Paez. Ariadne Alexandru. Prakruti Panchalinga Gauda. Peter Peterson. Azrika Ray. Marina Lemos Pires. Ramila Petrovic. David Samuel Pinkasik. Pekka Poyankowski. Kari Homa Ragnarsson. Roemir Ramirez Bayagas. Eduardo Ribeiro Faria de Olvera. Guzman Rodriguez Carral. Cristina Rodriguez Allen. Andrea Romualdo Lavarina. Maria Luisa Isabel Rosales. Viviana Ruiz Martinez. Hiroharu Saito. Ibrahim Salem. Josef Schmidt. Rolando Sejas. Susanna Lei Kan Shaw. Palaf Shukla. 
Shivanan Sivamohan. Maria Velamir Shobat. Lor Sock. Konstantin Soyar. Vina Shurangam Nadamuni. Alexander Stevens. Elena Surayeva. Auden Tamir. Yoshinori Tatsuno. Natapat Tawiwanaban. Valeria Tiefer Hangen. Marzia Tofigi Darian. Sokshmir Traichi. Panagiotis Tialas. Kevin Kin Sam To. Adarsh Fagis. Jerome Vincent. Marlies von Bremsen. Wang Liang. Luke Whitmore. Isabel Carmen Xavier. Xu Xiu An. Yang Hua. Xu Donglin. Ishiu Yao Kenji. Agnieszka Zarovna. Yo Tom Ziera. Yana Zubareva. Daniela Kleiner Fontes. Do you want me to read this? This concludes the LLM degrees. Cosgrove, Associate Dean and Dean of Students. Before we begin awarding the JD degrees, I have a few quick announcements. First, on behalf of the 5,500 people sitting throughout the lawn, I'd like to ask those of you standing in the front, blocking the views, to please return to your seats. Secondly, with so many lawyers in the house, I've been asked to let you know that this white fence is for decorative purposes only and can't hold any weight. That's the end of the administrative announcements. We want to recognize a special guest today, Louis Meltzer, from the Harvard Law School class of 1965. He's celebrating his 50th reunion this year. Mr. Meltzer was unable to participate in his own graduation, so we're delighted that he can join us for today's celebration. Mr. Meltzer. We will now begin awarding the Juris Doctor degrees to our graduates who are receiving a joint degree with the Harvard Business School so that they may attend the business school ceremony as well. Professor Subramanian will join Dean Minow for the awarding of the diplomas to our JD MBA graduates. Chioma Achibi. Yeah. Yeah. Kath 
Catherine Chasmar. Meryl Hoyt. Sang Hayup Quack. Mary Catherine Later. Kia McLeod. Adam Michael Presser. Christina Ross Blankfein. And Matthew Weibel. This concludes the joint degrees with the Harvard Business School. We will now award degrees to our transfer students. Professor Alex Whiting will join Dean Minow for the awarding of the diplomas to the transfer student section. Joseph Abowd. Tori Atkinson. Maxwell Ball. Jessica Margaret Burgeon. Philip Chang. Amanda Cox. Julie Dickerson. Rachel Silverman Dolphin. Lisa Ebersole. Jordan Garman. David Gobod. Jewel Hand the Third. Michael Jew. Angelin Marie Justian. Kamola Kobil Genova. Mary Kwan. William Kerwin Lane the third. Sean Lyness. Christopher Magnani. Alexandra Marin. Zahar Morozov. Corey Dylan McKeegee. Jason Thomas Nickel. Amanda Danielle Phillips. David Perko. Lauren Elizabeth Richberg. Nicholas Sansone. Allison Michelle Cher. Matthew Charles Summer. Andrew Coleman Sweeney. Matthew Taco. Brandon Une. Carson Joe. Eric Philip Lesser.
And this concludes the transfer section. <laughs> Professor John Manning will join D Dean Minow for the awarding of the diplomas to section one. Jin Q. Beck. Jesse Bernstein. Catherine Bolton. Charles Gordon Borgeli. Zoe Brennan Crone. James Burrell. Nathan Barden Campbell. David William Casaza. Alexandra Luo Chen. Alice Kalina. David Glanzer Curtis. Emily Grace Cusick. Gabriel Daly. Sylvia May Davis. Shuthipa Nila Thevanath. Justin Dews. Sean Fernandez Laidon. Aaron Frumpkin. Renee Garrick. Mary Estelle Grinman. Robert Bradley Guest. Anna Parlato Gunderson. Kristen Champlin Gurley. Lydia Halpern. Jordan Harrop. Simon Heimowitz. Eric Jeffrey Hoyt. Ryan Raymond Issa. Jessica Jensen. Christopher Young. Bucky Knight. Justin Coe. Cody Lawrence. Boram Lee. Jihyun Susan Lee. Ryland Lee. Corey Liu. Keith Stephen McLeod. Christina Martinez. Rachel Ann Mazzarella. Delia McCarthy. Katie McCarthy. 
Michael Compton McGregor. Yana Mariminski. Kimberly Meyer. Peyton Randolph Miller. Fatima Mohammed. Kristen Malloy. Sean Thomas Morrison. R. Brewer Otis. Ivan Panchenko. Hyung Soo Park. Anastasia McGletchy Pastin. Jessica Kernan Perez. Sylvanas Polky. Jennifer Poon. Karthik Reddy. Lindsay Taylor Reed. Asha Rich. Melanie Alana Roberts. Samantha Francis Rothberg. Tyler Brian Runji. Casey Lee Roop. Daime Sanchez. James Nicholas Siebel. Andrew Spore. Okay, great. Micah Stein. <laughs> Kaylin Stevens. <laughs> Stephanie Karen Stern. Pio Shamel. Kirby Thomas. Rutel Wang. Jacob White. Jeremy Winter. Emily Jushu Xiao. Yordanos Yonea. Jiliang Zhang. And Svetlana Zusina. And this concludes section one. Will sections three and four please report to Hauser? Professor Matthew Stevenson will join Dean Minow for the awarding of the diplomas to section two. Si Young An. Alan I. Urkan I. Ryan Alter. Mary Bargerhoff. 
Gilad Yair Bentheim. Lana Berbrayer. Kyle Brodkin Schneider. Diana Kalla. Marina Del Casillo. Deborah Cho. Min Suk Choi. Francesca Cohen. Samuel Christopher Cortina. Rebecca Kress. Ruvain Dushevsky. Derek Anthony Davis, Jr. Antonia Olivia Domingo. Alexandra Dremel. Timothy Fleming. Marcus Alexander Gadsen. Leanne Gaffney. Rebecca Gauthier. Michelle Allison Goldring. Sandra Hanian. Donna Harati. Alex Jordan Harris. Eric Benjamin Hendrickson. Casey Holzeffel. Stephen Ia. Michael Jung. David Kim. Natalie Kim. Erica Larson. David Lee. Jane Lee. Anthony Francis Lococo. David Monero. Kathleen McGinnis. Lindsay McKenzie. Monica Ann McKinnon. Thomas Scott Miller, Jr. Mackenzie Louise Morris. Rebecca Lauren Moses. Javier Oliver Kimorth. K. Sue Park. Yevgeny Parkman. Sarah Elizabeth Peterson. Hillary Ann Preston. Rebecca Prentice Paskowski. Michael Quinn. Nusha. Robar. 
Nathan David Reeves. Alyssa Lee Richardson. Sarah Marie Roberts. Ju Young Chang Ronley. Jacob Max Rosen. Thomas William Ryan. Jeremiah William Schwartz. Alex Shank. Stephen Shaw. Samantha Rose Schulman. Julie Bryn Siegel. Hannah Corinne Smith. Samuel Smolkin. Mark Russell Sperling. Kristen Rose Spitaletta. Tobias Stein. Caroline Stern. Joshua Tannen. Jonathan James Whitney. Emma Sinclair Weiner. And Armand Zahuri. This concludes section two. To our great delight, Harvard Law School alum and Kennedy School alum, Brian Stevenson, honorary degree recipient, is here and willing to make some remarks to the class of 2015. So please welcome Brian Stevenson, outstanding advocate, extraordinary compassion, imaginative, inventive. Here he is, Brian Stevenson. Well, I don't want to delay things. I just want to add my voice uh, congratulating all of you amazing uh, Harvard Law School graduates. Uh, I'm a proud graduate of the law school. Uh, and I just want to say um, really four quick things. I hope that you know uh, that you now have uh, incredible opportunities uh, to change the world. And I hope you believe that you can change the world. Uh, because I'm persuaded that if you are willing to believe things you haven't seen, you can make a profound difference in this country. Uh, I'm going to urge some of you to make sure you look at your Har Harvard Law School admission essays before you get too far in your career. Because sometimes it's worth remembering why you wanted to be a lawyer before you get pulled into all of the challenges that a law practice will create. And I do think that there are some things that I've learned that I just want to pass on to you. And they're really simple. First is that if you want to make a difference, get close to the issues and the problems that most concern you. I believe proximity will make the biggest difference in your ability to change the world. Uh, I grew up in a community where black children could not go to the public schools. I started my education in a colored school. And lawyers came into my community and made them open up the public schools. And because of that, I got to go to high school and college and got to come to the Harvard Law School. The second thing is that I hope you'll change the narrative. There's a narrative out there that is trying to define what you cannot do as a lawyer. There are people who are prepared to say that, well, if you work at a law firm, you can't do this kind of work. And if you do this kind of work, you can't do that. That narrative has to change. And I hope you'll change that narrative. Thirdly, I hope you'll stay hopeful. Whenever you find yourself becoming hopeless about what you can do, as a lawyer, as an advocate, as a human being, push back on that. 
Uh, hope is necessary. Hope will get you to stand up when other people are sitting. It'll get you to speak when other people are quiet. And your hope is essential. I believe that injustice prevails where hopelessness persists. Hope is the friend of justice, and injustice is friended by hopelessness. And so we need your hope. And finally, what I hope you'll do uh, is that I hope you will sometimes do uncomfortable things, because the way you create justice in this country, the way you create justice in the world, is when you choose to do things that are uncomfortable. I wish I could tell you that creating a new world, creating better justice, creating uh, the kind of world that you believe in can be accomplished by only doing things that are comfortable and convenient, but I'm persuaded the opposite is true. You've got to sometimes do uncomfortable things. I'll end with this. There's a different metric system that I hope some of you will consider. And I learned about it from an old man. I was giving a talk in a church not too long ago, and this old man was sitting in the back of the church, and he was staring at me the whole time I was talking. And he had a very angry, stern look on his face. He was in a wheelchair, and I couldn't figure out why he was looking at me so angrily. And finally, I got through my talk, and people came up, and they were very nice, and they were very kind, but this man sitting in the back kept staring at me. And finally, when everybody else left, this man wheeled himself up to me in the middle of that church, and he came up the front of the church aisle, and he got in my face, and he put his finger up, and he said, young man, do you know what you're doing? And I didn't know how to respond, and he asked me again. He said, do you know what you're doing? And I stepped back and I mumbled something. And then this man looked at me again. He said, I asked you, do you know what you're doing? And then he said, I'm going to tell you what you're doing. And this man looked at me and he says, you're beating the drum for justice. And I was so moved and so relieved to hear him say that. Uh, and after he said it, he says, I'm going to tell you something. He says, you keep beating the drum for justice. And then he pulled me into his wheelchair and he, and he said, come here, come here, and I'm going to show you something. And he turned his head and he showed me a scar behind his right ear. He said, you see this scar? I got that scar in Greene County, Alabama in 1963 trying to register people to vote. And then he turned his head. He said, you see this cut at the bottom of my neck? He said, I got that cut in Philadelphia, Mississippi during Freedom Summer. And then he turned his head and he said, you see this dark spot? He said, that's my bruise. I got my bruise in Birmingham, Alabama trying to register people to vote in 1965. And then he said, people look at me. And they think I'm some old man sitting in a wheelchair covered with cuts and bruises and scars. He said, but I'm going to tell you something, young man. He said, these aren't my cuts. These aren't my bruises. These aren't my scars. He said, these are my medals of honor. And we need some of you graduates to put yourself in situations where I hope you'll get proximate. I hope you'll change narratives. I hope you'll do hopeful things. And I hope you'll do uncomfortable things. You have been through an enormous test at the Harvard Law School, and you've come out gleaming and proud and bright. There are greater tests ahead, and don't be afraid to get cut and bruised and scarred a little bit if it allows you to advance justice. I want to congratulate you and thank you for all of the extraordinary work I know you're going to do. Bless you all. Sections five and six, please proceed to Hauser. We will now begin awarding degrees to section three. The Honorable David Barron will be donning a different robe today to join Dean Minow for the awarding of the diplomas. Joshua Abatoy. Connor Ahern. Matthew James Bellata. Michael Lawrence Barclay. Christina Barrero. Patrick Essien Ekp Bassi. <laughs> Taylor Bates. Jordan Michelle Bowman. Whitney Benz. Aaron Blacksburg. 
Karen Bloom. Elizabeth Therese Burns. Alice Rose Buttrick. Rebecca Chapman. Nidhi Chapiti. Ashley Alexandra Chung. Spencer Churchill. Afton Sissel. Allison Cordova. Morgan Amanda Davis. Emily Kristen Eaton. Andrew Frieda. Ellen Beverly Gendler. Albert Crofton Gilbert IV. Gina Lauren Gonzalez. Juliana Guo. Sean Tagopian. Stephen Jack Oliver Hasselblad. Stephen William Hasnick. Jason Heflin. Julianne Renee Hill. Daniel Honnold. Giorgio Emmanuel Ippolit. Neha Jagannathan. Keith Allen James Jr. Rachel Graham Kagan. Jocelyn Marie Kider. Zachary Carlson Kimball. Samuel Kravitz. Joshua Stephen Ellis Lee. Fan Lee. Emily Lichtenheld. Rebecca Elena Lipman. Meng Lu. Cass Luskin. Neil Makija. Ronald McKenzie Jr. Megan Grace Michael. Kieran Morris. Lauren Moxley. Shane Ryman O'Neill. Todd Michael Pierce Ryan. Tiffany Quatch. Jakob Rubin Riesberg. Edward C. Robinson, Jr. 
Alicia Marie Rodriguez. Sarah Ellen Atkins. Daniel Boxerman Rosenbaum. David Philip Salant. Catherine Schmidt. Davida Schiff. Alexandra Smith. Michelle Minji Sohn. Adam Solati, Jillian Stafford, Samuel Wolfgang Stroes, E. Soon, Eleanor Lynn Tarlow, Trevor Templeton. Rena Thomas, Allison Tong, Michael Turi, Mengyi Wang, Yueduan Wang. Aaron Webman. Gabriel Weiner. Nicholas Price Whitney. Jennifer Nicole Garnett. And this concludes section three. Professor Jeannie Souk will join Dean Minow for the awarding of diplomas to Section 4. <laughs> Alexandra Anthony. <laughs> Lillian Saldinger Axelrod. Lakendra Scott Barajas. Samuel Barr. Lauren Elizabeth Bateman. Elena Beganova. Elizabeth Ann Bewley. Daniel Blyberg. Jennifer Bloom. Andrew Blythe. Kathleen Felicia Borsho. Catherine Josephine Kelly. Asmara Carbido. Yes, Mara. Alexander Civetta. <laughs> Richard Corbett. Aaron David. Sarah Duran. David Dorfman. <laughs> Tyler Dosage. <laughs> Joshua Fogarty. <laughs> Sarah 
Gonski. Alyssa Lauren Greenberg. Samantha Gupta. Avery Scott Halfen. Scott Hockberg. Rachel Fabricant Homer. Shane Hunt. Nicholas Jackson. Jennifer Jasmine John. Mark Timothy Kaltenbach. Matthew Joseph King. Tilak Koyovarum. Carolina Cooperman. Richard LePage. Ellen Varen Lehman. James Lee. Jody C. Liu. Jeffrey Long. Mara Ludmer. Kelly McDonald. Nora Elizabeth Malberg. Ezra Benjamin Marcus. Christopher Melendez. Kimberly Minor. Robert Taj Moore. Eric Nidal. Emily Marie Norman. Sean Paul O'Neill. Hayin Park. Nicholas Olnick Paston. Justin David Patrick. Sydney Pritchett. Mark Kien. Jesse Rising. Dean Rosenberg. Emily Serafian. Siobhan Serene. Ezra Surer. Romine J. Sheff. Serena Sheep. Esther Silverstein. Catherine Soltis. Jason St. John. Blake Strode. Albert Tang. Aitan Almer. Esther Vince. Anna Vinogradov.
Catherine Waleka. Grace Wang. Menglu Wong. Emily Witcher. Brandon Montrell Whitaker. Paul Joseph Wooten. Clark Zhu. Kelly Amashta. And this concludes section four. Will section seven and joint degree students please report to Hauser? Professor John Goldberg will join Dean Minow for the awarding of diplomas to section five. Angela Teresa Condonat Antony. Juan Carlos Arguello. Dahoud Oscar. Michael Samuel Athi. Nimra Hamid Azmi. Emily Baker White. Greg Baltz. Jeffrey Bain. Megan Behrman. Melanie Berdicia. Molly Britt Calkins. Evelyn Chang. Brian Greg Cleveland. William Desmond the second. David Donati. Emily Dew. Katie Dunn. Michael Robert Jubin. Charity Jasmine Fort. Craig Joseph Fratrick. Elizabeth Gettinger. Lauren Alex Gore. Catherine Ann Grice. Emily Cole Groden. Charles Carter Hall. Jessica Ann Helmers. Robert Andrew Hickman. Seth Adam Hadel. Olivia Hoffman. William Hyde Jr. Bryce Gilbert Jastro. Natalie Eileen J.
Evelyn Tianjana Kachache. Brian Michael Kelly. David Kirk. Akila Colasetti. Connor Courtje. Jonathan Levine. Choi Lee. Matthew Philip Lipka. Patrick John Luby. Luke Martin. Ryan Martin. Xiao Xiao Lin. Craig Miller. Rachel Miller Ziegler. Jordan Moran. Elizabeth Nerling. Charles Nelson. Sarah Page. Matthew Whitten Peterson. Francesca Lena Procaccini. <laughs> Seyong Pyo. Shakir Rahman. Joshua Ripley. Charles Mertens Rosloff. Caroline Sacerdoti. Amanda Cecilia Savage. Jeffrey Sharfstein. Marissa Schnee. Eric Levy Schulwolf. Cecilia Danielle Siegel. Usama Shabak. M. Shin. Bryant Shum. Benjamin David Simmons. Marcus Alexander Stadler. Sam Stuckey. Esther Trademan. Christopher Allen Orwilla Strauss. Suzanne Van Arsdale. Jessica Ann Voskerchen. Benjamin Lee Weintraub. John Jeffrey Wiest. Xiao Shai Shu. Margaret Zisser. And this concludes section five.
Professor John Hansen will join Dean Minow for the awarding of diplomas to Section 6. Lior Anuffy. Arun Ava. Abhishek Banerjee. Michael Caleb Barker. Matt Barno. Lee Elizabeth Barnwell. Benjamin Bastomsky. Amy Han Bond. Dakota Burns. Samantha Caravello. Derek D. Cash. Kathleen Chang. J. Michael Cohen. William Lawrence Cranch. Emily Kiefer Deddens. Maggie Amelia Dunbar. Hakeem Afiam Dow. Morgan Rally Everhart. Romina Lucia Philippu. Stephanie Frudenberg. Jane Gimian. Cody Justin Kermol Gray. <laughs> Dina Julia Greenberg. Elizabeth Bailey Hadaway. Christopher Hahn. Spencer Hot, Christopher Havasi, Caitlin Wesley Hughes, Tiffany Yoning Hu. Lawrence Hull. Iram Hook. Jessica Jung. <laughs> Wong J. Jung. Kelvin Kessie. Sarah Elizabeth Kettler. Okay. Just wait. 
Subin Kim. Jiha Ko. Nicholas Kipriotakis. Paul Dunghun Lee. Chang Lu. Stephanie Page Mossman. Jamie Krista McFarland. Adrian Rose Mendel. Brian Ashley Millai. Sean Mursky. Catherine Elizabeth Mullen. Ariel Claire Nelson. Kevin Michael Nealon Jr. Oded Oren. Seth Emmanuel Pacron. Maria Alejandra Para Orlandoni. Alicio Puig. Catherine Jane Ranieri. Andres Rappaport. Chelsea Rogers. Nader Rusta. John Shottle. Tanya Shaby. Amish Shaw. Vikram Shah. Rachel Rose Siegel. Loli Dalla Sosa. Divya Subramanyam. Paul Edwin Souter. <laughs> Margaret Scott Sullivan. <laughs> David Patrick Thorson. <laughs> Anna Tutungian. <laughs> Christopher Henry Van Buren. <laughs> Cecilia Vogel. <laughs> Sarah Weiner. <laughs> Sam Wheeler. Victoria White Mason. Peter 
Franklin Williams. Shi Yu Zhu. Alexandra Zabrick. Catherine Zhu. And this concludes section six. <laughs> Professor Richard Lazarus will join Dean Minow for the awarding of diplomas to section seven. You too. Daniel Jason Ain. Seema Atri. Jamal Baglani. Chad Baker. Marcy Brimer. Jamie Brown. Mary Wilson Byers. Matthew Catalano. Cassie Chambers. May Chow. Marie Renee Sita. Spencer Cox. Daniel Sean Crossan. Monica DeBosher. Tucker David DeVoe. Michael Friedman. Jamie George. Sophie Ariel Glickstein. Ronald Gonski. Andrew Claude Goodwin. Stephen Robert Green. Priyanka Gupta. David Hanyok. Suki Hoshijima. Ilan Hu. James Ireland. Claire Moore Johnson. Patrick Connor McLaughlin Johnson. Ian Kessler. Sujin Kim. Thomas Samuel Kogelman. Nikolai Krylov. Josephine Lee. Zachary Simon Lerner. Ashley Nicole Lewis. Shan Chao Lu. 
Todd Michael Logan. Zara Lukens. Matthew Ginming Lee. Catherine Lynch. Andrea Julia Matthews. Andrew Charles McBride. Davida Sherry McGee. John Miller. Alexandria Miltenberger. Benjamin Morris Levinson. Khaled Moad. Jacqueline Munoz. Tara Janelle Studebaker Norris. Alexandria Ordway. Nathan Kenneth Palmer. Sasha Pippinger. Natalie Rad. Claudia Ricciardi. Khadija Robinson. Julianne Riley Rutiz, <laughs> Callie Joan Schellenberg, hey, Alexander Shrek, <laughs> Ruchi Shaw, <laughs> Melissa Claire Schub. Lindsay Nicole Simmons. Maureen Slack. Joshua Stein. Christopher Stevens' son. Tony Veselinova Svetanova. Joshua Whitaker. Samir Zafar. And this concludes section seven. We will now award degrees to graduates who are also receiving degrees at other Harvard graduate schools today. <laughs> the Honorable David Barron will join Dean Minow for the awarding of diplomas to our joint degree students. Receiving joint degrees with the Harvard Kennedy School of Government today, Scott William Hugo. Genevieve Parshell. 
Jacqueline Perlo. Eliza Swearin Becker. Tom Watts. And receiving a joint degree with the Harvard Graduate School of Education, Rebecca Ruth Wallowson. And Dean Cosgrove, can I scoot you over? Oh. Also, we want to thank Dean Cosgrove for her 11 years of service to the students, faculty, and staff at Harvard Law School. We would never have gotten here without you. That's very, 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 very sweet. Thank you. And then I'm supposed to give you this rep. Yes, thank you. This concludes the awarding of the degrees to the class of 2015. You are welcome to proceed to the yard for the afternoon ceremony, or you may remain here on the law school campus and move to one of the law school classrooms to watch a simulcast of the afternoon ceremony. Congratulations to everyone.